Hi, welcome to Naresh IT. This is Kishore, and today we are going to discuss about constructors concept. Already we have discussed that how the constructor is working, what is a constructor, and how this one is working. Now I am going to continue the constructor concept, and in this session I am going to cover how to overload a constructor. Okay, first of all, overloading is what. defining defining several things or objects or functions okay defining several things or functions or objects okay with the same name with the same name by changing the number of arguments order of arguments type of arguments within one class okay here i want to say like this for example what is called constructor overloading okay or what is called function overloading defining several functions with the same name defining several functions with the same name in same class by changing the number of arguments order of arguments type of arguments is called generally function overloading is called function overloading now constructors also participating in overloading that means within a class we can define any number of constructors okay here constructor overloading means what defining several constructors defining several constructors within the same class by changing the number of arguments order of arguments and type of arguments okay next actually constructor overloading is nothing but a polymorphic feature of c++ okay actually this behavior is nothing but polymorphic feature of c++ actually this concept allows to extend the functionality of the constructors already we know that one constructor is mentioned mentioned for one work by using overloading means what we are using the same constructor name to do different tasks that is called extends that is called extensibility that's why constructor overloading allows the user to extend the functionality of constructor and it is called what polymorphism it is called constructor polymorphism that's why constructor overloading is nothing but the polymorphic behavior of okay c++ now how to overload the constructor okay first i am going to start one example just watch it first uh, common header file hash include io stream next hash include conio.h now i am going to start a class like this class circle okay now i'm going to declare class circle generally class is having radius circle is having radius float r now every circle contains some radius next here void okay and here one important point we have to discuss what is our concept constructor overloading actually there is a rule for constructor what it is means every constructor should be declared in the public area okay every constructor should be declared within the public area and constructor never contains any written data type and written value including void means even void that's why don't use the void okay this so is don't use the void and constructor should be declared where in the public that's why here public now public access specifier okay or public visibility more label next here the constructor major rule is what constructor name should be matched with the class name actually class name is what circle that's why our function name should be same now circle and now it is called what constructor and already we have discussed two types of constructors one is default constructor second one is parameterized constructor a constructor without any argument is called default constructor 
and a constructor with parameters is called parameterized constructor. Now, I want to use both uh, in this class. Now, circle here brackets empty brackets. Generally, empty brackets indicates what? There is no argument. When there is no argument, generally it is called default constructor. Now, it is the default constructor. Next, here I want to assign some value r equal to 5 that is it. Now, brackets close. Here what happened? r is initialized with 5 that is why when the object is created, okay, when the object is created this object data means especially r value becomes 5 that is why constructor is used for what? Automatic initialization of the object and it is initialized when the object is created. No? That is why when this object means whenever we are declaring an object from circle class, now that object R becomes 5 due to the default construct. Next, I want to use one more constructor parameterized constructor. Now, I am going for parameterized constructor. Once again circle, this time float R once again. Now, watch this here class name is circle, here function name is circle that is why once again it is a constructor, but it is having a argument no? that is why it is called what parameterized constructor. Now, the parameter name is what R and data member name is what R that means here one is local variable, one is data member already we have discussed when local variable and data members are with the same name your compiler does not recognizes which one is which one and it gives priority to local variable only and I said in this situation we should have to use this pointer okay, to distinguish our data members from local variables. Okay. To distinguish the data members from local variables we have to use this pointer. Now, I am going to say like this star this dot r equal to r. Now, watch this what happens here this r is the argument r means local variable and this means object dot r object means what class variable that means object is the instance of the class now that is why this r is nothing but this r okay? that is why here this r is the local variable or argument and this r is nothing but data member that is why this value passed to this value means this argument value passed to this data member. Now, watch it it is what default constructor and it is what parameterized constructor. Okay. Here it is the default constructor, it is the parameterized constructor. I have used both within a single class now, now it is nothing but a constructor overloading. That is why constructor overloading is nothing but declaring several constructors, declaring more than one constructor okay, within the same class. It is called constructor overloading. It is the polymorphic behavior of C++. Okay. Next, this one allows to use the constructor for different purposes. Okay. Next, now I want to print the data, then void show area another function. Here I want to print or I want to find out area, then area equal to generally to find out the circle area formula is what pi r square to find out the circle area the formula is what pi r square. That is why here r is available pi value we know that 3.14 that is why area equal to 3.14 into r into r later end l. Now, function closed. Now, what happens whenever this one is called whenever show area is called it is going to print the circle area by using this formula. Okay. Now, function definitions are completed now close the class. Okay. Here closing of the class later we have to call this member functions now, but here one important point is that constructor is never invoked because of it is invoked automatically when the object of that class is created. Okay. Normal member functions are invoked using 
object name followed by dot operator ok. Everybody knows if suppose show area, show area is what? It is a member function and the rule for member function is what? It should be accessed with the class object using dot membership operator, but it is what? Constructor, it is also what? Constructor, we know that we never, we never access a constructor using the object name using dot membership operator because of they are invoked automatically when the objects are created. That is why now I am going to use in main, see this how to use main, void main. Now CLR SCR screen is clear. Now I have to invoke uh, first uh, default constructor. Now circle C1. Now watch this here, circle is what? Class name, here circle is the class name and C1 is what? Object and here this object is having any arguments? No, when there is no argument means automatically it is linked with the default constructor. That is why object without any argument, object without any argument it implicitly linked with the default constructor ok. And now here C1, C1 and C1 is declared automatically C1 R becomes 5. That is why here just assume it is the C1 object and it is having R now, now it becomes automatically 5. Next C circle of C2 of 10. Now what happens? Another object created. Here C1, C2 both are what? Objects and it is also object and we know that whenever an object of class is created, constructor invoked implicitly or automatically. That is why when C1 object created, C1 invokes the default constructor because of there is no argument. But here C2, C2 is having what? Some argument. That is why here there is no argument now, that is why it is not linked like this one. It is having the argument now, now both are matching. That is why now the 10 is received by R and this R becomes R. That is why here C2 object also created and this R becomes 10. Okay. See this, here we are automatically the object values are initialized. That is why it, this concept is called what? Automatic initialization of the objects. Okay. And now C1 value, C1 R value 5 and C2 R value 10 finished. Later we have to print the area no? that is why here I am going to write like this C1 dot show area actually C1 means this one no? C1 dot show area now R value 5, 5 into 5 into 3.14 something is going to print area. Next C2 dot show area now it is going to print what? C2 area based on 10, that is why it is going to print the circle 1 area, it is going to print the circle 2 area. Now the program finish, get CH and program is closed. Now in this example what happened? We have declared two constructors, we have declared two constructors, one is default constructor, one is parameterized constructor. That means we have used more than one constructor within the same class and this concept is called constructor overloading. That is why declaring several constructors, okay, declaring several constructors by changing the number of arguments or argument data types or order is called constructor overloading. Okay. Thank you for watching. In next session, I am going to give another example on constructor overloading, how to call a constructor within another constructor. Thank you.